the following relates to a fix for a problem with the airbag light on a 97 Mazda 323 BA Protégé. It's probably the uh, the same as the uh, the laser. I think that's a KJ97. Uh, it doesn't relate to later models which change the airbag module. This relates mostly to 96 to 98 I would think. Now, the car when I bought it had a problem that the airbag light would when you turn the ignition, turn on, flash seven times, turn off for a second, then start flashing again and turn off. Uh, and this kept up, it didn't actually ever go out as it should. So after a lot of research, um, replacement of modules, uh, I found the following out. Now, this particular model, um, if you look at the uh, first illustration, you'll see the, uh, where it says number four, that's where the the SRS airbag module is. You don't actually need to pull any of the the dash or um, ECU or gear controls, consoles or anything like that out. You just pull the two side panels that cover. Well, actually, just the the one side panel that covers the the centre console side and under three bolts in that um, whole SRS unit falls out. Uh, okay, now what I found in the end was that this particular model, the 97 in Australia anyway, didn't have an airbag module on the passenger side. But Mazda had still left the wiring loom in there for the passenger side. Now the, this particular module, if you look at the next next um, image here, you'll see the the Temec airbag sensor module. Uh, now the two wires at the far left, uh, yellow and green and plain yellow, uh, go to the passenger airbag, uh, even if it's not there. And uh, the next two wires, the yellow and red and the yellow and black, go to the driver side airbag, which of course is there. What I found, I replaced the module and it didn't actually help. Uh, the light still continued to flash on and off. I did a lot of uh, research and I found that the airbag module is expecting to see uh, two ohms on each between each pair of those wires. So two ohms from the driver side module to show that the airbag's in place and functional, and two ohms on the passenger side. Now, if there's no actual airbag on the passenger side fitted, Mazda, in their wisdom, have fitted a 2 ohm resistor to the wiring. Um, which, if we go to the next image, you'll see that the wiring actually is in place behind the kick panel on the passenger side. Uh, not the kick panel that's in the centre console, but the outside one. So if you pull that out, you'll see a bit of wiring loom sitting there with a big blue resistor attached to the wiring. Now, I found with mine that the resistor was still functional, but it somehow it had become a little bit corroded. Um, when I measured the resistance from the airbag unit, it was measuring 8 ohms, which was far too much resistance, which is why the airbag wasn't recognising it. I pulled the resistor out and that measured fine, two and a bit ohms, put it back in again and everything worked properly because there must have been a little bit of corrosion on the terminals and just by replacing them, um, pulling the resistor out and replacing it, that had cleared the corrosion out and it was all working fine after that. Now I must stress that you do not test the uh, resistance on the circuit on the passenger side, on the driver side if the airbag's still in place uh, because just the mere fact that you put the multimeter on those two wires uh, may be enough voltage to actually activate the driver side airbag which you really don't want so uh, <coughs> if you're going to test the driver side uh, or if say the <coughs> the uh, the lights flashing six times which would indicate that there's a problem with the, the driver side airbag uh, it's wise to undo the two bolts that attach the airbag to the steering wheel and actually disconnect it from the clock spring mechanism. Then if you want to test the driver's side, uh, you 
can get a 2 ohm resistor, put it in circuit and then see if the light goes out. If it does, you've got a problem with the drive side airbag. So there you go, um, you can save yourself a lot of dollars if uh, you just check that resistor. If the light's flashing seven times and you don't have a passenger airbag, check that resistor behind the kick panel, give it a bit of a wiggle, give it a replace, um, test however many ohms uh, are going across that resistor and if it's more than two and a bit, you know, there's a problem there. Anyway, it took me a lot of effort to find that, so uh, good luck to you. Thank you. Oh, just as an addition to, to what I've just said, these Timic modules um, do not carry codes. They, if there's an accident, they don't store codes the way other modules do, so there's absolutely no point in putting any diagnostic tools on them or really anything. Um, they either work or they don't, and they, they don't remember codes, so they'll only flash lights. So. They're a pretty good unit, actually, by the look of it. They're uh, they're well made, and I, I really wouldn't expect you to have too many problems with the Temic um, sensor unit itself.